So let's see, Pisces, what your soulmate wants to tell you today. Let's see. So, gods and angels and spirits and guides, please allow us to receive messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Something they wouldn't say out loud at this time, so that we make Pisces aware and awaken to the energies. Okay, last one. Good. Now let's cut the card spices and see the bottom of the deck for the most important uh, message, the overall. And it is the Emperor in reverse. So um, either you are, you are dealing with an Aries at a distance, um, but can also be, um, you know, somebody kind of losing control a little bit uh, because definitely somebody is away from you. Probably you are on a break and there was no communication coming out of healing period you know and wanting to take action and um because of the silence there was some silence here somebody is i don't know losing their mind definitely seems like like it today because they want to come out of the break they want to talk to you break no more right it's uh they want to be with you and that is definitely a desire of communication and the Emperor, we know how abundant he is, just like the Empress. And um, that is a desire to create something and take control over something. That they are losing control. So, Pisces, you are dealing with a passionate one, that's for sure. Princess of Pentacles, we do have um, Earth energy here. So, um, I believe that they feel a little bit empty. I mean, I believe that's the message here with the Princess of Pentacles. And we know how nurturing energy uh, she is. It's a beginning of a creative endeavor. But um, they feel empty right now and they kind of need you <clears throat> because you jumped right in with the King of Cups. <clears throat> this is them telling you that without you, they are kind of lost and you are their king, right? And they see you for the beautiful person that you are. Uh, emotionally balanced, by the way, because you show up upright. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that um, beautiful energy of uh, being in control. And look how sorry they are, Pisces. Five of Cups. <clears throat> they feel regretful about no, not reciprocating the feelings, about not being on the same page, not giving enough. And now they know. Seven of Cups and Reapers, they narrow down. Maybe they had options in the past, but I don't believe it's about that. It's more about illusion and confusion. And that is why they thought maybe they that you are not giving enough. So they, um, they've been guarded kind of and protective about themselves. And now they know and they feel sorry for not giving enough, not giving you enough. Of course, they want they want a family abundance. They want children, the house, the home. They want to heal the family that you had, guys. If you had a family in the past, and they want to start new again, Queen of Cups. Yes. So this is an energy, of course. Of, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or another water sign like yourself. Sometimes the fall is associated with the with the Aries as the first. Um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, sign of the zodiac, I don't quite believe, but anyways, let's say that this is a message for somebody connecting with an Aries, and I'm saying it because that is an, an Aries in the beginning. So, uh, for some of you dealing, uh, like I was saying, with, with the fire sign, um, you know, that is um, a real desire to put a foundation down, Ten of Pentacles, it's also about abundance and money, financial security, stability, and that is a new leap of faith, that is a, uh, an, an energy that they are telling you, you know, that they want to heal the situation, they want the connection to be um, in balance this time around, and uh, you are away from them, you show up Queen of Cups in reverse, and you show up all over, their, all over this uh, reading, so they are very, um, actually it is them, um, you know, being attached to you, but it can also be you being attached to this person. You show up. And of course it is a fire sign. <clears throat> and they want to come in. That's a Sagittarius energy and you have the temperance as a Sagittarius energy. This is your soulmate telling you that they are attracted, um, you know, by you. They, they want to come in, they want to rush in. That is a level of sensuality there. 
wanting you you know wanting to make love make love to you and that kind of energy you know very sensual and very sexual they are less protective we are um, actually saying here that um, <clears throat> The Six of Pentacles, they uh, know reciprocity that was there in the past. Now they know better and they know that they have to be uh, less egotistical here. Four of Pentacles. Letting go of whatever protects them and taking a risk, you know, and being more open. And uh, being more, um, you know, um, communicative in some way. And talking and being transparent more in some way. And of course, we have the Queen of Wands. So either you are dealing with a fire sign and this is a card, you know, of wanting and desiring you because this is all sensual and social also. But this is can also this can also be your soulmate telling you, you know, what that they see you as, um, you know, a fiery person, extremely passionate with drive, a social bumblebee dealing well with people, um, you know, being extremely open, easygoing, and they appreciate that about you, that's for sure. Of course, the Wheel of Fortune uh, in reverse, so they feel a little bit stuck there. In a justice situation, in a legal situation that is about to end. And that is about to end a state of poverty by walking away. So I believe they are dealing with uh, le uh, legal matters. Maybe they are divorcing. Maybe they are dealing with a work situation. And uh, something that got them a little bit... Um, how should I say, uh, with a feeling of lack and not having enough and exclusion. Uh, but they are walking away and they are dealing with this in a very fair uh, manner. But that is why they can't come forward if that uh, was your inquiry, uh, Pisces. This is also an energy prince of sorts. This is an energy of wanting to talk to you. And I believe this is all messages of uh, talking to you. Hey, the card just flew. And of course, six of wands, they want to be victorious about you. They want to be, they want to acknowledge you and your qualities. They want to be acknowledged also, acknowledged also when they uh, talk to you or when they want to talk to you. And of course, it's all about breaking the silence. And look at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So they want to break uh, their silence about um, a house, a home. A future together a community you know being part of your own community Pisces <clears throat> you know being kind of in a public eye that kind of energy and it's also putting down roots that's what they want to tell you and that was a secret with the high priestess and now it's a desire to talk because now they know better high priestess is a very spiritual card so that was a soul journey <clears throat> and now that is a conclusion and a knowing and that is a walking away from some some somebody or something right and uh coming forward to put to put down with uh, the to put roots down with you so you might be dealing with a water sign because we do have the um the queen of cups and the king of cups and if that's the case this is quite of a matching energy so you are kind of with on the same vibe and that's good to see and that is um you know um the same level of energies which is good <clears throat> You might be dealing with a fire sign. You do have the Prince of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And this is the tricky part because the energies, if you are dealing with a fire sign, um, somebody is a queen and I believe we know who uh, he or she is. And the queen, we know how it goes, can be King Queen energies. And then that is a Prince of Wands, uh, which is a little bit uh, childish, maybe a little bit immature if you are dealing with a fire sign. <clears throat> you know, being more um, attracted with the sensual part of life um aspects let's say or goods of life and um but still nonetheless um there are feelings here and a desire to start in you okay so uh Pisces, please let me know what you think guys of course don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time i love you take care bye